Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Simon Dan and I'm delighted to tell you that you have found yourselves smack bang in the middle of another Simon Dan comments video. And yes, they're still just as bad as before. Well, here we are again, kicking back and taking a look at some of the stuff that people say on this channel. For some reason, I don't seem to be running out of comments. So I thought we'd take a look at some of the best ones that we've seen come up over the last couple of months. So sit back as I cast my rod of debate into the bottomless well that is the Simon Dan comment section. Ironically, first up, we don't actually have a comment from my channel. But whilst I was out and about on my travels in YouTube, I found this comment from Ranty, who was massaging Sleeping Warrior's already massive ego. Jammed in the middle of that comment, I found this gem. There is a reason I'm one of the, if not the most targeted flat earther out there today. Ranty, you aren't even the most targeted flat earther in your living room, let alone out there. I've seen more hit piece videos against shellfish than I have against you. So that's saying something. Poor form from Ranty there. The first actual comment from the channel comes from the Paul guy who says, I mean, you look stupid, you sound stupid, not only with what you say, but actually how you sound. Your hair looks retarded. Did I mention you sound retarded? You look like a little punk I used to punch in the face when I was a kid. Wow, what a brave guy. Punching someone in the face because they look and sound stupid. I bet your mum and dad are so proud. Stephen Coles, please tell me that at least you are more civilised. You have to love smug man Dan, aka Stephen Hawkins' love child. His proof of no firmament is a CGI Tesla in CGI space. That's so scientific, oh dear. He means this photo. The one that shows no firmament? How dare I use it to show that there is no firmament. Gerardo Renteria up next. What's on your mind, Gerardo? Simon Dan, I will be the first to not kiss your ass in these comments. You are a joke. The earth is flat and you've been brainwashed your whole life. You're already balding, wouldn't you like to accept the truth finally? Clearly never seen one of these comments videos if you think you're the first person to not kiss my ass. Again, my hairline has nothing to do with scientific truth. Up next is Seeking the Truth, who states... Dan, walk in front of a moving bus. Um, bit harsh. I'm going to move on from that one actually. Uh, Finger Rabbit, what have you got to say? Hi Flan Man. Not normally one for saying negative comments about someone, but if the earth is round, your personality is definitely flat. You are actually annoying, and the bad thing about it is you actually think you're cool, and your comebacks at others are so lame and without doubt shouldn't take a study period to come up with them. If there was a class in how to be charismatic, you would be the don't example. Flan man. And Finger Rabbit, if there was a class on how to be incoherent with the intellect of a garden hose, I'm sure you'd get the gig. Mick Ronson, a comment regular, is back again, and he says... Hey, boz-eyed go get your face fixed before you come on here, as children may be watching and will have nightmares with the way you look and all that shit that comes out of your mouth. And what are those skinny things hanging out your t-shirt sleeves with the ink all over them? Yep, defo case of little skinny man syndrome coming on here, spouting his shit because it makes this complete idiot feel important. He is about as important as the dog shit I just run over with my car. You purposefully drove in dog shit to prove a point? And what skinny man syndrome when it's at home? Oh, hang on, he's not done. Go on then, Mick. I get angry every time I see this ugly mush with the squint eyes. Obviously he suffers from some psychological disorder or it is plain and simple little man syndrome. Whatever his channel is for, f brainwashed idiots only if you please. Oh, it's little man syndrome now, is it? As I said before, I'm six foot three, I'm not little. And another dig at the subscribers there as well. Okay, who do we have next? William Jackson, what does he have to say? Shit man Dan, all you did was refute his arguments with typical so-called science, which is nothing more than untestable brainwashing. Your arrogant ignorance suggests you think you know it all. I am not a flat earther, however, you failed to disprove what this guy said. All you proved is that you are arrogant, not intelligent. Get your head off your ass, your hand off your twiggy dick, and do some real research instead of sitting in your mum's study waiting for her to bring you a sandwich and some more tissues. 
Okay, um, where do I start with this one? Um, this isn't my mum's house. Actually, a lot of people say that. One day I'll give you a tour or something. Steady Davaliv up next. Let's see what he brings to the table. You are a dickhead, nowhere near as smart as you think you are, ugly f First off, I can't help my ugly appearance. Sorry. And secondly, I don't think I'm that smart. Not as smart as Orphan Red, anyway. On the inside. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> oh, before I also invited people like oh yeah, yeah right. okay. Uh okay. <laughs> Dear Sasha Cullen, welcome to Mensa! <laughs> That's right, she got into Mensa. High IQ equals flat earth believer now, apparently. In all seriousness though, congratulations to her, fantastic achievement. I still don't agree with you on the earth though. Our next comment comes from a flat earther called Digital Plague. He's had a bit of exposure over on Conspiracy Cats' channel. Let's see what he had to say. Sorry Dan, I was wrong. In my defence I was drunk as f I watched your video. Wow, a flat earther that not only admits they were wrong but also apologises. So they do exist. Up next is a comment made by Nathan Thompson of the official Flat Earth and Globe Earth discussion group. He's this guy. Remember? Well, he has said this. My Flat Earth friends have globe head kids and even they tell their parents Simon Dan is an idiot. Ha 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 ha. Well, as I said in my initial response to you, Nathan, my normal friends have normal kids, and they don't know who you are. Positive one up next from a Thomas Dobson, and he says... Dan, you are the best. I was just at the gas station getting coffee, and I happened to overhear people talking about your videos. Keep it up with the population control of the flat arts. Great job. That amazes me. People talking about my videos in a US gas station. Thank you so much, Thomas. Uh, that reminds me as well to say... or give a shout out to the two guys that recognize me in a subway. Uh, the one guy who said hi in the leisure center, thanks very much. Uh, and the other guy who saw me in the Chinese restaurant but didn't come and say hi but then messaged me afterwards. Thanks for watching. Up next is Boss Hog. Away you go, buddy. Dude, this guy looks like a malnourished shill. He kind of reminds me of Squidward. Alone and misunderstood, seeking refuge with the clarinet. But at the end of the day, just like Spongebob Squarepants, practical science will yield that the earth is flat, you retard. Squidward? You might have a point, actually. However, practical science does not support a flat earth, so you haven't got a point there. Maybe Derek Eisner has something more constructive to say. Why is there no curve on the ocean? And by the way, that documentary was gay like you. Clearly not. One, I'm not really sure how a documentary can have a sexual orientation. And two, it's not an insult. Work on your trolling, Derek. Okay, what about Derek Hikima? You are a shill piece of shit, quote QNV. P.S. Removed your butt plug yet? Let the ship float, idiot. Perhaps if there was some punctuation in that comment, I could have made sense of it. You need a space comma or two. Right, Gerard Mullum, what say you? You're a boring, self-indulgent twat. You prove it's a globe to me and be interesting. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, Bret Hart? Dan the nonce, get back in your gimp box. What is wrong with you people? Okay, Flat Earth, Christian and Faith, please bring some decorum back to the proceedings. Shillman Dan has to be the worst. Never did a test, never went to school, married his cousin. Okay, I'm fairly sure that my wife isn't my direct cousin, and I did go to school. Here's the proof. Oof, why did I show that? Ah, Robert Spreadborough returns yet again with this beauty. Hello, Dan. Yes, it shows, mate. You are indeed a special needs wanker with learning difficulties. What a f insult farm you run. Do you remember fun before you became so bitter and twisted? I'm not triggered, sucker. Only pricks get triggered. I just can't stop laughing and you're making me incontinent. What a loser. Perhaps you should try some special incontinence pants, Robert. 
Then you can watch and comment on my videos, safe in the knowledge that you won't have brown trousers afterwards. Right, Osama bin Bush up next. What do they have to say? How many of you guys know that Simon Girl is a woman and not a man? Yes, my friends, this is a FTM. Or he has a pussy between his stroke her legs. Hashtag no dick. People still peddling that one, hey? Really want to prove that one wrong, but I don't want to do it without doing the obvious. Answers on a postcard, please. Up next is Dromega, who says, You look like you're rotting, Dan. Like your soul is seeping like a gas through your translucent skin. I'm fine, Dromega, and thank you for your concern, but my soul and I are in very good health. Our final comment comes from Dafdev, who looks like he has commented after watching the last special comments video. Let's see what they have to say. Burnt shit and two week old period blood. Sorry PMSL, as it sounds like you would know what two week old period blood smells like, as the closest you have ever been to a woman was when going through the bin left outside for collection, you virgin muppet. Seriously? I've made it known many times that I've got kids, and I've mentioned my wife many times too, yet still people are going with the virgin insult. Ah, uh, I get it now. They can't help it. It's much like the globe Earth. You can shove all the evidence in existence in their face, but they'll never listen to you because they've got their heads so far up Bob's ass that... A 15 degree per hour drift. Bob, you don't have to say it every time I say your name. Bloody hell. Right, that wraps up another comments video. I really hope you do enjoyed that one. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, then a subscribe and a like would go down very well. I have been Simon Dan, and I'll see you all on Friday for some more flattening fun. See you then.